A title on screen, Please Don't Text Me. A young white person beams as they open their kitchen door to a white woman of about their own age, who looks a little uncertain. The two hug warmly. The woman signs, what? Sorry. It's nice to see you. The visitor follows her host to the couch but doesn't sit. She asks in sign, what did you want to talk about? Uh, I found some of your stuff. The visitor looks reproachful. I uh, saw that you got the job on Instagram. Really? You really wanted it. You deserve it. Lou, stop. Look, I never signed up for this space thing. This is a breakup. What am I supposed to do with all the love I have for you? Lou's ex signs sadly. It's not easy. This is so embarrassing. It's not. It is. Look at you. You're so together and fine and I'm... I'm not fine. You're not. This is the hardest decision I've made, hurting someone who I love. It's awful. Why you love me? Nodding, Lou's ex steps closer, her expression pained. She takes Lou's hands in hers and Lou looks reassured and even smiles but their ex looks increasingly conflicted and eventually pulls away. Signing, I've got to go. She heads to the kitchen door. Turning back, she adds, please don't text me. Then she leaves and Lou stares at the door. A title on screen, we all have to start somewhere. Teens at a sunny skate park, riding their boards and scooters along the rims and doing tricks on the jumps. In slow motion, a white teenage boy is leaving the park when a white teenage girl who lives with Down syndrome smiles at him from a bench. Put your stuff there. He's got earbuds in and doesn't hear her, so she puts down the phone she's holding and runs after the boy to tap his shoulder. Where did you learn to skate like that? Oh, sorry. Are you talking to me? Where did you learn to skate like that? I suck at skating. But I saw you to kick some on the floor last week. No, nah, that wasn't me. It was a friend. But you were bored. I'm learning. That's why I've got all the pads. Oh. Do you skate? I wish. Do you want to have a go? At four. We all have to start somewhere. He offers his board. Later. You're natural. Thanks. Would you go on a date with me? Look, I don't know you. That's okay, I'm always gonna let go. Wait, I was trying to say that I don't date people that I don't know. Okay. But I'd love to get to know you as friends. Friends. They shake hands. A title on screen. You never want to have sex with me. It's so beautiful. A man filming his wife. Hey. She's in bed. Not now. He takes her tablet away. I want to play my game. You know you've got to have sex to have a baby. He kisses her shoulder. Not tonight. He turns despondently away. You never want to have sex with me. She sits up in bed. You love me, right? Right? Yes. If we love each other, then we don't need to have sex to prove it. You can kiss me again. Grinning, he leans across the bed to kiss her lips. Then they share a long embrace, closing their eyes blissfully. When they part, the man hands the woman her tablet back, then snuggles contentedly against her shoulder and joins her in her game. A title on screen, you're just saying that. A young white man with a ginger beard and long hair slicked back is sitting nervously in a theatre restaurant when his date, a young Aboriginal man, returns to their table. Got us a bottle? Interesting choice. 
Did not for you? The, uh, the bartender recommended it. He said it was great for first date. The bearded man smiles shyly to himself. A curtain on stage opens. Good evening, lovers. This song is about the good days. I hope you're having one. I could take days like this. The bearded man smiles again as his date takes his hand. Hey, sorry, I forgot to give you these. Thank you. Wine glasses. Enjoying the music? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's good, good, right? Yeah. No, all right. I hear you here all the time. She's... The bartender has his hand on the date's shoulder, and the bearded man seems to be getting distressed. Closing his eyes, he folds in on himself and breathes unevenly. Hey, are you alright? Why don't you just go talk to the hot bartender? He's not my type. What? And I am? Yes. Why? Because you're a snob about wine and I think you're cute. You're just saying that. I don't just say things. I like you. A wide view shows both men at the table smiling. The date in his seat and the bearded man in his wheelchair. Lou's now on an oval, looking like they want to send another unanswered text, but then putting their phone away with a determined expression. The couple in the bedroom share a smile in soft sunlight. Then the woman gets up to embrace the man. At the skate park, the girl's wearing the boy's safety gear and laughing with him as he helps her to skate. In the theatre restaurant, the bearded man takes a deep breath and reaches out to squeeze his date's hand. The couple on the bed cuddle up to each other. The teenage girl arrives alone at the skate park with her own brand new skating gear and a broad smile. Lou, at the oval, turns their face up to the dusky sky and closes their eyes. The title in white on a black screen, Valiant. Directed by Claudia Bailey. Writer, Emily Dash. Executive producers, Tracy corbin Matchett, Courtney Gibson. Producers, Tracy corbin Matchett, Diana LaGrasa. Cast, Lou, LJ Wilson, Billy, Lauren Patrick, Bailey, Ricky Kremer, Casey, Dina Kremer, Sam, Emily, Scary Rickett, Alex, Shay Bell, Taylor, Nagali Shaw, Joe, Liam Luff, singer, Maddie Johnston, waiter, Joel Garrett. Audio description by Fran Matthew Description Services. Copyright Bus Stop Films 2021. Bus Stop Films. Inclusive filmmaking.